talk about old muscle cars, the one thing that comes up in every conversation is rarity. This car is rare. It's believed to be one of 39 71 Challenger RTs that has both the 340 engine and the Shaker hood scooter. Yeah, in 1971, I, got, I came back from Vietnam and I got out of the military and I needed a car. And I'd seen a lot of nice cars while I was in the military, so I purchased this one uh, thinking that I would have it a few years and there'd be something nicer come out. But it never did, so with the gas crunch in the early 70s, uh, they, the manufacturers didn't, didn't produce more. So I hang, hung on to it because I never saw anything I liked better. And at this time, I've had it 51 years. Yeah, when I went to the dealership uh, to look for a car when I got out, uh, I sat down with the salesman and told him what I was looking for. And so he went through the order process but uh, I was looking for a performance hood and I guess the salesman didn't know the difference. He put down shaker. So when the car came in, uh, the dealer's owner said, well, that's not what you wanted. We'll get you another one. I said, that one looks fine to me. I didn't know it was even available. So I took the car and uh, I've had it ever since. So this came with a heavier duty suspension in it, being the RT, and it came with a positive ratio steering on it so that uh, you had to move the wheel very little and it, the car would move. And how about that slapstick shifter? Still works. I had one in my 71 Barracuda. You know, when I was driving it before, the one thing I noticed was that everything worked. The clock still worked, the tack worked. Um, have you ever had to have any of that stuff repaired? Uh, the tack and the clock were checked out and everything because the tack didn't work. It, it bounced around. It wasn't accurate. So I had a guy uh, refurbish it. But other than that, that's the only thing. Man. And have, have you ever had the car modified when you were a young uh, guy? No. You no, just I've, always I've kept, kept it stock? Kept it original other than uh, the exhaust system. I had glass packs on it after uh, the first... Uh, the mufflers rusted out because it was a New York car and the salt ate everything out and uh, but no I've tried to keep it all original it's a beautiful combination now you ordered this right the b5 yeah. blue with the blue interior yep. that really is uh, pretty special you got it just the way you wanted it right right other than like I say the shaker uh, I was expecting a performance hood and it came in with a shaker because the salesman wrote shaker on the order sheet. Uh, and I did notice that you didn't order air conditioning. Uh, is that just something you felt in Bingleton no, you didn't need? It or? was a northern car and you had an option back then. You could have a heater or you could have air conditioning. So I took the heater being an upstate New York car. Mm -hmm. And uh, now my wife wishes I had air conditioning now that we moved south. That happens, but you know, again, air conditioning wasn't one of those things then that was very much that everybody had to have it. Back then you roll the windows down, yes. or you have the two knobs under here you can open up to yep. get some fresh air in the car, and that that would suffice. What uh, what gear ratio is in the car? It's got a 3.21, uh -huh. right? and uh, it's got 10 to 1 compression, which was the same as the 440s. Uh, the three What's the 
let's see. Let's get a little personal now. What's the wildest, craziest thing you've ever done in this car? Did you ever take it out on the throughway and run it up to Took top speed? Took it out speed? on Route 81 one time with some friends of mine. I had a buddy and uh, his sister and aunt. And we were going to see some relatives of his. And we were going from Binghamton, New York, down to Scranton, Pennsylvania. And we were cruising at about 65, 70. And I had a Trans Am pull up alongside the one take them so we did and I says you watch the speedometer and I'll drive and we got to 145 miles an hour and said that was fast enough well with the 320 gears you're gonna really have a lot I of had top a high speed top end and he could not get by me and when I backed off and he did go by me he was smoking pretty good <laughs> he had pushed it real hard did you ever take it to the drag strip as a... No, I didn't. Uh, never did. Just uh, just used it as a daily driver and enjoyed it. At what point did it be... You say, this car is way too nice to... Uh, I got to get this thing off the road. Back in 1993, I was uh, always subscribed to Mopar Muscle Magazine. And I was reading an article in there. A fellow in Kansas was selling one. It looked just like mine, different color. But... And he claimed that it was one of 39 cars built, is the way he was advertising it. So I got in touch, because I had a new Dodge truck at the time, I got in touch with Chrysler and asked them if they could give me some information about my car. Uh, it wasn't on their computer, they said it was in the libraries, they'd have to do some research and get back to me. Uh, six months later they called me up and they gave me the numbers of how many Challengers they built that year with the different engines and options and they said you're correct your car is one of 39 built with a shaker hood on a 340 engine so my wife and I said well we better take care of this car because it had primer on it where the paint had faded and then I just touched it up and uh, so we we pulled the engine put hardened valves in the engine so we could burn unleaded gas and got a paint shop lined up and had it repainted in, uh, over the winter of 1993. In spring of 94 we got it out of the shop and I started putting it all back together and then we went to our first car show I believe it was August or October that year and we got a first place which I couldn't believe. But, uh, so what? after that we started going to cruise-ins and car shows just uh, my wife loves cars also so we've just enjoyed over the years going to all the different car shows. By 1970 the pony car wars had been going on for about five and a half years thanks to the early introduction of the Barracuda and the Mustang and Dodge had not seen a single nickel of that money. Billions of dollars were made and none went to Dodge. When they came out with the Challenger in 1970 it was a companion car to the Barracuda, but it was a completely different car in some ways. All different body panels. It had a two inch longer wheelbase, befitting its status of a Dodge. You know, Dodge was always a little more upscale than Plymouth. Uh, later on, someone wrote that the Challenger was the secretariat of the pony cars. And I could see what he was getting at. It was a little bigger, a little stronger, a little faster, and certainly it was one beautiful animal. Um, these cars look as fresh today as they did back then. And if you look at the success of the modern Challenger, which really in 2015, their styling cues really came from this car. You know, the two separate taillights, the two separate grille elements. This is Muscle Car Campy. Come back for some more. We've got lots more good stuff coming up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so every time we put up a new video, you can get a notification. Take care.